Hello, I'm Dr. David Anderson with the Veterinary Medical Center for Horses and Farm Animals here at the College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Tennessee. I'm talking to you today in our new equine cold water, salt water therapy spa. And I'm standing in the middle of the expansion hospital here, and I want to introduce you today to Dr. Steve Adair. Dr. Adair is, Adair is board certified in veterinary surgery. He's board certified in sports medicine and rehabilitation. And he's an expert in the treatment of injuries of the horse. Dr. Adair, this is a new piece of equipment for us here at the College of Veterinary Medicine. What's its purpose? What's it for? Well, it's part of the state-of-the-art uh, system that we've set up here for rehabilitation of the equine athlete. It is primarily going to be used for treatment of different limb or leg conditions that occur in the horse. Things such as wounds, distal limb wounds will benefit. You know how your mother always said, you know, let's go to the ocean and you swim in the ocean, it's good for cuts. It's Similar type of thing, circulating cold salt water around. It is also very good for treating tendonitis or bow tendons. Uh, also what we call lymphangitis or some people will call it big leg where horses' legs swell all the way up uh, to their groin region or their uh, chest, uh, or cellulitis, which is an infection of the uh, tissues in the horse. So, uh, and one other thing would be laminitis. Uh, it, we can get it down to the temperature that has been shown to be therapeutic for foundered horses. So it's, it's just another uh, state-of-the-art modality that we're offering here in the rehab center. So anytime a horse has inflammation or swelling or laminitis, founder, um, it would benefit from these therapies. How long would a horse typically be in the tank? Depending on what the condition is, uh, for laminitis, they could actually potentially stay in there for three days. Mm. However, for most of the regular uh, wounds or lymphangitis or tendonitis, we'd be looking at 20 to 30 minutes, maybe two or three times a day. Okay, and how long would that course run? How long would the horse typically be in the hospital it, for something like that? Again, it depends on how the horse responds to therapy. It mm -hmm. certainly could be as little as two or three days up to a couple of weeks. So bringing state-of-the-art technology to you and your veterinarian to help your horse recover from disease. Here at the University of Tennessee, we're about getting your horse back on its feet and getting you both back in the field. Tell us what we can do to be a member of your team. Talk to your veterinarian about what's going on at the University of Tennessee. We're excited about it. We hope you're excited about it. We want to be a member of your team, and we hope to see you in Knoxville soon.